What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna learn how to use stable diffusion models to generate images from text. A while back, I got access to Dali, which is a model developed by OpenAI that allows you to generate incredible images from text. Then I started to play around a little bit with the model and generate some images. However, I was struck by the very sad news that I didn't have credits anymore to generate images from prompt texts. But that's when I came across stable diffusion models. Now, Stable Diffusion is a text-to-image latent diffusion model created by researchers at CompVis, Stability AI, and Layon. Now, this model seems to generate some pretty incredible results, but the best thing about it is that it's open source. The main idea behind the fusion models is to have machine learning systems trained to denoise random Gaussian noise step by step to generate some sample of interest, like an image. Now, the underlying model is trained to predict a way to slightly denoise the image in each step. Now, after a certain number of steps, you have your sample. Now, if you want a deeper explanation on this topic, I recommend this awesome article by Hugging Face, which is the main source for this video. Okay, so now let's head over to the Colab notebook by Hugging Face, not sponsoring this video, by the way, and let's generate some images from prompts. First thing we want to do is make sure that we have a GPU running on our notebook. You will also need to be registered at the Hugging Face Hub to have the access token for the code to work. Now, we use the Stable Diffusion Pipeline class from the Diffusers package to generate our images with just a few lines of code. We first load the model. In this case, we're using the V14 model that is the default in the notebook. And once all the weights are downloaded, we move the pipeline to the GPU. And now we can use AutoCast to run fast inference on half precision from a prompt to get a result. In this case, an astronaut riding a horse. We can also pass a random seed to generate deterministic outputs. We can also tweak parameters like guidance scale to increase the likelihood that the output image will better match the prompt. We can generate grids of images by just repeating a prompt inside a list. The notebook also contains a more in-depth explanation of stable diffusion, which we won't go into detail here, as well as how to set up your own inference pipeline with diffusers. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.